All right, simple eaters. Let's define nutrition. The science and food and all of their components, the relationship to health, diseases, such as actions, interactions, and balance. Processes within the body, ingestion, digestion, absorption, transport, functions and disposal of end products, and the social, economic, cultural, and psychological implications of eating. There are many factors, remember this, there are many factors that affect our daily food choices, such as age, gender, gender, genetic, makeover, occupation, lifestyle, family, and cultural background, and in many cases, our American culture. Uh, the enjoyment of food becomes the first prorate versus nutritional value we'll receive from it. We deal with uh, anxiety or stress by eating or not. We reward ourselves or our kids with food for a good grade or doing good at a particular task for something. In extreme cases, uh, we'll punish ourselves uh, for the failures by denying ourselves the benefits of comfort eating. Uh, food preferences is developed at a very young age, then expanded as we get into our older years, our adulthood. Uh, there are so many valuables that takes place in developing a wide food variety. We interact with parents, foods, and peers, influencers, our uh, exposures to food. Knowing this, you can see how we can expand or change preferences. There are many developmental states when we come to uh, age or your food preferences, uh, for instance, baby and toddlers are usually open to new things. Young children in general prefer sweet and familiar foods. There have been uh, studies that shows uh, repeat repeatedly exposing a variety of foods to your children are more likely to accept these foods and have a healthier diet later on. Um, now, in preschool, many kids would go through something called a neophobia, I believe it is, which means a dislike of anything new or unfamiliar. Uh, school age kids tend to accept a wider variety of foods. Teenagers, <laughs> teenagers are strongly influenced by preferences and habits of their peers. Uh, by the time you reach your adulthood, um, you have developed or formed a a core group of foods you prefer. Uh, for instance, food preferences uh, it is broken down like this, three categories. First category, environmental factors, economic, lifestyle, availability, culture, influence, religion, geographic, location, and environment. Two, personal preferences, habits, comforts, discomforts, foods, food marketing, advertising, and a promotion, food and diet trend, sensory influencers, taste, smell, texture, individual beliefs about food and nutrition. Number three, health status, health and medical conditions, physical fitness, and independence, knowledge of health and